California is just two weeks into its long-awaited reopening, but already a new coronavirus threat has prompted Los Angeles County health officials to request a voluntary rollback of one of the freedoms fully vaccinated people only recently began to enjoy. The county's recommendation this week that everyone, regardless of inoculation status, should wear face coverings in public indoor settings is a precaution, given the presence of the worrisome Delta variant of the coronavirus, underscores that speed bumps may still lie ahead on the road to pre-pandemic normalcy. It also illustrates the current landscape in the long-running battle against COVID-19, one where those who have had their shots may be asked to give a little to help shield those who haven't. There's a lot of give and take in our communities, LA County Public Health Director Barbara Ferrer said during an interview Tuesday. And this is the time for vaccinated people to give, I think, and protect others. While not a mandate, L County is requesting that residents go beyond guidance issued at the state and federal level, which affirms that fully vaccinated residents can go maskless in most situations, including indoors. Ferrer said the recommendation stemmed from a few interlinked factors. The county has seen a slight uptick in community coronavirus transmission as of late, and the presence of the Delta variant, which officials say is perhaps twice as transmissible as the conventional coronavirus strains, could exacerbate what's still a minor trend. The county is also seeing persistent gaps in vaccination coverage, with Black and Latino Angelinos still inoculated at lower rates than their white, Asian American and Native American counterparts. If there's one lesson we've learned over the last 18 months it's that, with a new virus, there are lots of unknowns, Ferrer said. And every time we get a new variant of concern that's identified, it takes some time to really understand who's getting infected and how easily they're getting infected and what are the consequences of that infection. Of particular concern, she added, is that there's a lot of opportunity here, because we have large numbers of unvaccinated among our workers, to have large outbreaks that really can once again wreak havoc in families and communities. We have the tools to prevent that from happening, Ferrer said. On Tuesday, Lauren Caruso pulled a cloth mask over her face as she stood patiently in line at Prest Juicery in Venice. She was the only one inside to do so. Caruso, a 42-year-old lawyer, is one of the fully vaccinated Californians for whom masking up remains a way of life. It's an extra precaution I can take, and if it'll save someone else's life, why not do it? She said. Caruso, like tens of thousands of other Californians, knows the pandemic's pain personally. In the past year, her uncle and aunt both died from COVID-19.